Hi, and thanks for joining us for another one of Family Marines videos. My name's Tom, and today what I want to do is I want to go through a very minor issue that occasionally pops up with sea legs. And I'm going to show you what's been happening with some customers, what the cause is, what the solution is. So this is a set of sea legs that happens to be on a bitune. Standard legs is what we call them. And you'll notice how the legs right now are in the retracted position. So the foot pads are parallel with the bottom of the pontoon. And uh, as we lower these legs all the way down, the foot pads are going to swivel and they're going to sit on the bottom of the lake. So if we lower the front set, okay, that's good. And now here's a problem that happens. You'll notice how these foot pads swivel. They're designed for that, right? Okay, so as you know, the legs go down, the, the foot pads sit on, flat on the bottom of the lake. Here's the legs, here's the foot pads. And as you raise them up, the foot pads are designed to go flat to the bottom of the tube. But what can happen is we can get rocks stuck in here, and the foot pads end up being stuck like this. Now, if you raise the front legs, that's what it's designed to do. It's supposed to go back to flat. But sometimes when we get rocks in there, so if we lower the legs again, that's good. And if we had a rock in there, now we raise the legs and you see what happens. They get jammed. Now imagine trying to drive across the lake with the legs in that position. It's not going to work. Whether this happens to the front set or to the rear set, this is a problem. And what ends up happening is as you're driving along, it creates so much turbulence in the water that the motor's shaking like crazy and you're only doing seven miles an hour and you swear there's something wrong with the engine. But it's not the engine because the engine isn't getting solid water. It's the sea legs creating all that turbulence. Now, if we lower the legs again a little bit, It's good. Here's something that we ran across recently. Um, a customer who has his boat up on sea legs would lower the boat down so that the sea legs come off the bottom of the lake. And as he's raising the legs up the rest of the way, he's got the boat in reverse. So the water thrust is forcing the leg pads up like that because the water, you know, this part is coming out of the water, this part is still in the water, and the, the water is forcing the legs, you know, forward like that. So now he raises his legs. And again, we have that same situation. So then he says, well, I lowered my legs a little bit and I put it in forward gear, and now the thrust of the water is forcing the leg pads to do that, and they work fine. So if you raise the legs again, you'll see that they go into position like they're supposed to. Perfect, that's what we want. Um, how do we tell if the legs are in the position that they're supposed to be or where the leg pads are straight up and down. The, the problem is the beeper that you have on the sea legs. The beeper says, oh, your legs are all the way up when the beeper goes off, right? Well, that beeper is hooked to the, to the hydraulic pressure. So when the hydraulic pressure builds up to a certain point, the beeper goes off. But the beeper doesn't know if your foot pads are in this position or in this position. There's no way to tell. The beeper can't tell. The only way to tell is to lay down on the front deck of the pontoon and look underneath to see if your foot pads are in the proper position. We've had rocks jammed in here so bad that we've had a hammer and a pry bar and we're just chiseling those things out because they're literally jammed right in between those leg pads, foot pads. So yeah, this is very, very critical um, to be able to make sure 
that your foot pads are level like what you see right there. So if you have any more questions on sea legs, feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is area code 320-222-BOAT. That's 222-2628. Thank you very much for watching.